Uh, so I joined the military when I was 18. I got stationed in North Carolina, deployed once. After being in the military, I definitely wasn't really looking to be cooped up or stay in an office. When I saw the opportunity to do this vet's work program, I was like, well, it's a great way to get outdoors and you know, see what the Forest Service is about. My name is John Darden. I'm from Sacramento, California, and I did uh, five years after doing the Marine Corps. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about the fire behavior that's going on that you can see? Oh, yeah, we got some smoke building up on that ridge top, and we might want to be slightly concerned for a little while in case the wind picks up. My dad was a forester and wildland firefighter. He encouraged me to get into that aspect of being outdoors and got me more interested in becoming part of the Forest Service or being a wildland firefighter. We started off going to fire school. You're able to get your red card certified, so you're going to go as a Type 2 firefighter. Shortly after fire school, you do your chainsaw class, and then you get certified for that as well. You know, we get up early and we go on the buggies at seven, go to our thinning location, cut all day, taking down trees and then stacking them so we can clear the area. And then we leave the location about probably three and head back to our bunkhouse and we clean the chainsaws and clean our equipment and our tools. And then we always have our fire bags ready to go. We're always on call. We went out on our first fire not too long ago, and that was just kind of intense, getting out there and actually seeing, like, you know, the stuff we were trained for firsthand and getting to do direct line digs, getting to have bucket drops almost right on top of us. My name is Brad Johnson, and I'm the crew boss for the Umatilla Vet crew. Coming from you know, a military background, these guys come willing to work, willing to learn, willing to listen. And so it translates over to learning um, a new skill very, very quickly. We go out right away and put that skill to use and they were extremely successful. Our goal is to find that one niche in the Forest Service that they're really interested in. Getting to know them personally is a big part of that, building those relationships and bringing them into you could say our family and uh, helping them along in their careers. Vet work supervisors make sure that, you know, if there's a different aspect outside of fire that we want to get into or check out, that they make it available for us. You know, they help us network and make connections to other programs and types of work. The Vet Works leadership has given us lots of opportunities and experiences to make sure that we're getting every advantage that we can. You know, I've done prescribed burns, I've done drip torching, I've done, you know, thinning, I've done uh, working with hotshot crews. I mean, to have that experience under my belt and all those certifications, it's, it's definitely been a big career booster for sure. The certifications, the training, and the experience that we've gotten through the Vets Work program is definitely something that will help you be one step ahead of the competition when it comes to applying for future jobs in the Forest Service or, you know, whatever you're looking for.